Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Amber Frias and for Tammy Milchok. And I'm Jim Scott. Topping our coverage tonight, funeral services held today for the 17-year-old teen stabbed to death outside Foothill High School last month. Family and friends gathering today to remember Jose Flores Jr. Flores died in mid-January after he was allegedly stabbed by 23-year-old Jason Cruz. Cruz has since pleaded not guilty to a charge of murder. But according to court documents obtained by 17 News, he confessed to the stabbing while claiming self-defense. 17's digital reporter Omar Perez attended today's service and he joins us now in studio with what he saw and what he heard at today's funeral service for Jose Flores Jr. Omar, your reflections on today's funeral service. You know, Jim Amber, there was a great outpouring of emotion for, um, for over the loss of this young man. Mm -hmm. You know, I was allowed to attend um, Mass at Our Lady of Guadalupe Catholic Church and there was no empty seat. Despite it being a regular school week for some of those in attendance, there were nearly 100 people, maybe even more. Now, Omar, you've been in touch with the family through all of this. What are they saying about it? You know, I got to speak to the dad um, off camera when I visited where Jose was killed. And as you can imagine, they are absolutely devastated. He was only 17 years old and according to his father was someone who never got in trouble. He was trying to help his brother during that fight on Janu January 21st, but unfortunately he did not make it. We've heard that there's some overtones of uh, gang influence here. We've heard that there, this might be linked to um, an ongoing series of bullying incidents, but Correct. what what is the investigation? What are they saying outside of the ongoing investigation? Um, what is being done to reduce the violence there among youth in that area of Bakersfield? Right, you know, not just Foothill High School, but six other high schools have reached out to Mr. Manuel Carrizales at State Focus Ministries, where, yeah. you know, he has been helping our youth in this area for over 30 years, and to come and talk to them, um, to their students, you know, he launched a mentorship program in 2005 um, called Reach for Greatness, and that's the real key here, is mentoring our youth, and more than anything, is be consistent in sending a message of hope and love. Yeah, and providing our young men with positive role models, adult mentors. Right, absolutely. Yes. All right. Omar Pettis, thanks for your Thank time you. today. Thank you. Okay.